Namaste yogis. Today we're going to emphasize the ankles, the calves, and allowing the Achilles tendons to open. So let's begin at the top of our mat in Tadasana. So spreading your feet nice and wide. Just like rock back and forth a few times from side to side, just so that you can feel the earth. And then lift all 10 of your toes up and then gently place each one of them down. Draw the energy up from the feet, through your legs, relaxing your shoulders down your back, lifting through the crown of the head. Bring your hands into heart center and set your intention for your practice this morning or today, evening, whenever you're practicing. And let's open the eyes, take a breath, inhale, circle the arms all the way up to the sky. Bring that good energy into your hands and send it back into your heart space. Again, two more times, breathing in through the nose, breathing out through the nose. One more breath, inhale, sweep up, lift your heart, stretch your body. And on the out breath, this time let's fold all the way down to the earth. Let your head relax. Inhale, lift up halfway. Pull your belly in, lengthen your spine. And on the out breath, plant your hands and we'll step back to a high push up plank. So if this is too much today, then just soften the knees to the earth. Pull the pit of the belly up and in, draw the heels away, send the crown of the head forward. Come to your tiptoes, bend your elbows, and lower slowly to the earth. As you release to the earth, let your toenails press down, roll your shoulders down and back, bring your elbows into your ribs, and lift your heart space. On the out breath, slowly tuck your toes. We're going to come back to that high push-up. So pull the belly in, pull the thighs off the ground. And then exhale, lift your hips, downward facing dog. So let's work the feet here. So lift the heels high together on the inhale. Exhale, draw the heels away towards the earth. Again, lift the heels, come up to your tippy toes. And then exhale, allow the heels to melt. We'll do that one more time. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, release down. And then lift your heels. Let's walk our feet towards our hands. And we'll come now into ragdoll. So grabbing your elbows, let your body hang. Sway from side to side. Switch the arm that's on the bottom. See if you can create a little bit more space. Loosen the head, relax the neck. Come to stillness, lift up halfway, pull the belly in. Exhale, see if you can fold a little deeper now. Root down to rise. Hold your arms up towards the sky, an extended mountain. Rip down into the feet, get taller, lift the chest, lift the heart. Keep lifting your heart space up. Keep reaching the arms, hold and draw the elbows in. And then exhale, we'll fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, plant your hands, step back plank. Let's run through vinyasa here. So lowering down to our bellies, let's take Cobra on this first one. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths here. Full cycles of breath. Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the nose. Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the nose. And then 
and slowly just walk your hands towards your feet this time. I want you to spread your feet as wide as you need to keep the heels down and then bend your knees, lower the hips down into Malasana squat. You can allow the hands to release to the earth or maybe you can draw your hands into Anjali Mudra. Allowing the thumbs to touch the heart space. Think about as you breathe in, draw the energy up from the pelvis. As you breathe out, widen through the collarbones. So energetically pressing the elbows against the thighs and then in return, hug the thighs back into the elbows. So this is a wonderful pose to stretch your ankles, the calves, work your knees. You may feel this in your lower back. If any lower back issues, this might be a pose that you might want to work with every single day. Great for digestion. Take one more breath in your Malasana squat. And then exhale, come back to downward facing dog. Soften the knees, gaze forward, walk or float your feet to your hands. Lift up halfway. Exhale and fold. Bend your knees now, chair pose, sweep the arms up to the earth. Towards the sky, breathe in, straighten the legs, lift the heart space, draw the tailbone down. Come back to chair pose, sink the hips. And then exhale, release and fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Plant your hands and we'll step back, vinyasa. Work your breath, not taking your back bend until the upward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, down dog. Bring your toes to connect and we'll float the right leg up and back for three legged dog. Let your left heel draw down towards the earth so that you can get a beautiful stretch through the calf. Pull the knee into the chest, come forward. Engage your core, try to kiss your knee. Stretch your right leg up and back. Take your right knee, now tap your right elbow, come forward. Engage your belly. Stretch your right leg high up and back. Take your right knee across and tap your left elbow. Stretch it high. And we're gonna set up for crescent lunge. So quietly step your right foot through. Make sure the knee is in line with the ankle. And when you feel steady in your legs, inhale, rise crescent. Release the hands to shoulder height and let the right arm sweep down and around for a beautiful twist. Keep the back leg very strong. Spread your fingers for me nice and wide. Staying calm with your breath. Softly release the left hand to the earth or block and open up through the right side of the chest. Allow the right hand to come to the inside of the foot now and spin your back foot flat and hug the hips underneath towards the instant and then allow the left arm to reach up, extended side angle. I want you to take a half bind here. So let the left hand come to the lower back. Allow the left side of the chest to open. Take one more breath here. Release the half bind, and then press down into your feet, rise up, warrior two. 
Look over that right middle finger. Stay calm. Extend your arms out wide. Right palm flips up. Reverse your warrior. Allow the right side of the pelvis to draw under and stretch your torso. Cartwheel the arms down to the earth and either step back to dog pose or if you want a vinyasa, take the leg, lift it. Maybe an optional three-legged vinyasa. Come into your up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. We'll work the left side now. So bring your toes to connect. Let your right heel melt. And float your left leg to the sky. Sending the energy, draw the knee into the chest. Try to kiss your knee, round your back. Stretch your left leg behind you, three-legged dog. Take the left knee and tap the elbow. Go slow and mindful. Feel your hip. Stretch your left leg high up and back. Come underneath the body now and twist. Left elbow to the right knee. Stretch the left leg high. And then we'll quietly step through crescent lunge. When the in-breath comes, arms sweep up. The heel is over the knee on the front leg, and the back heel is over the ball of the foot. Let the left arm release and soften. Take your twist. Keep your right leg strong. Softly release the right arm to the earth or a block. Revolve your twist, opening up to the left side of the chest. Let your left hand come to the inside of the left foot. Spin your right foot flat, hug your left hip under, and we'll open up. Side angle posture. So we're working from the ground up on this one. Notice how it feels to firm into your legs. Take the half bind with the right hand to the lower back, opening up through the right side of the chest. Soft gaze, listen to your breath. Right arm reaches back up to the sky, now push down into both feet. On the inhale, rise up, warrior two. Stretch your arms. Feel like you're a plus sign here. So if you think about the plus sign, the pelvis draws down, the crown of the head lifts up, and then the arms extend wide. Let your left palm flip up. Reverse your warrior. one more breath and then cartwheel the arms down towards the earth vinyasa through maybe one-legged plank chaturanga up dog down dog three breaths here After that third breath, gaze forward, bend your knees, hop your feet to your hands. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale and fold. Bend your knees now, chair pose. This time with your chair pose, maybe you can float your heels off the earth, balancing on your tiptoes. Strengthening your feet. Lower the heels down, straighten the arms and straighten the legs. Bring the hands into heart center. Let's work a little bit of balance now. 
Let's work eagle. Stretch your arms out wide. Take your right arm underneath and either hug your shoulders or wrap the arms. Take your right leg, cross it over your left. And you may ground that right foot on a block or the earth. Scooping the elbows forward and up. Take one more breath and we'll fly away. Eagle other side, left arm underneath the body, hugging, hooking, or crossing. Single arm, double arm wrap. Take your left leg this time and you're gonna slide it over and maybe it's a single or maybe you can tuck those toes behind the calf. Squeeze your two legs to one. Draw your elbows forward. Open up the back of your heart. Take one more breath. And then fly away. Dance your pose. So take your right foot behind, open up the collarbones, draw the right heel in towards your glute, grab the inseam of the foot with your right hand, stretch your left arm up, take Janamudra, Mudra, thumb and index finger to touch, and maybe this is your dancer today. Keep the armpit open, lift your heart space, and maybe as you lift the heart space, you can start to kick that back foot towards the back wall. And then softly release. Dancer on the other side. So this time it's the left foot that's gonna step behind. Maybe that's your dancer grounded. See if you can bend your knee and draw that left foot in towards your glute. Right arm reaches up. Stretch your right arm, get longer, get taller here. Take your right hand, maybe you're practicing with your significant other. Take your palms to touch and hold each other. Lift your heart space. One more breath. Finish your exhale, softly release. Tree pose, Vrikshasana on the right. So maybe your tree pose stays grounded. Maybe you draw it to the calf. Maybe you draw it to the inner thigh. Hug the two legs to one. Find a focal point in front of you. And keep your eyes fixated on that. Square in your pelvis, and then start to grow your tree branches if that feels good. One more breath in tree pose, and then release. Nicely done. Tree pose on the left. Toes grounded to the calf, or draw that foot to the inner thigh. Just watch that you're not putting pressure on your knee. Lift up and out of your hips, grow your tree, grow your branches. Take one more breath in your tree pose. Feel how steady you are with that foot grounded into the earth. How calm your mind is. Good, nicely done. Come back to the center of your mat. Let's flow. Sweep the arms up. Lift your heart, maybe lean back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, maybe you wanna float back this time. 
Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. So everything we've done, right foot forward, step it, spin the back foot flat. We're gonna rise up to warrior one. Open up warrior two. Take your right elbow to the thigh now. So we're gonna work extended side angle again, but this time from top to bottom. Start with that half bind like we did earlier. And then I want you to see if you can draw your elbow. Think about your elbow coming down to the earth and then stretch your right hand underneath your leg. Maybe the fingers find each other. The key is to keep the left side of the chest open. Take one more full cycle of breath. And then from here, we're gonna work bound triangle. So start to straighten through the right leg. From here, release the bind. Take an angle of your right toes towards the right corner of your mat. And some of you may just keep the upper body lifted or to the ground. And then some of you wanna see if you can lower the hips to skandhanyasana, stretching through the foot, pulling the toes back. And maybe you can take your right hand towards your heart, left hand extends out like you're pulling back a bow and arrow. Take one more breath here, and then release. Come to center, your runner's lunge. Step back, either press back to dog, or vinyasa. Chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Let's work the left side now. So step your left foot forward, spin your back foot flat, line up your heels, Inhale, warrior one, rise up. Open up, warrior two. Inhale, left elbow to the thigh. Right hand starts with the half bind. Roll the right side of the chest open. Hug the hips to the center line. Bend your left elbow, draw it down towards the earth. Maybe you can reach underneath the arm and find the other arm for the full wrap bind. Take one more full breath here. Start to straighten through that left leg bound triangle. and we'll take skandhanyasana on the other side. So again, you can take the arms out. You can soften the hips towards the earth and maybe keep the hands down. Or maybe you take the hand to the heart like you're pulling back that bow and arrow. the stretch that you get in the foot, the Achilles and the ankle, amazing, should feel amazingly good. And then release the hands, spin your feet. And let's play a little bit. So step back to plank for a moment and draw your right hand to the middle of your mat. Roll on to the right edge, Vashisthasana, side plank. From here, I want you to pull the right knee into the chest, like the knee is coming in towards the armpit. And then see if you can take your hand, wrap it, grab the outside of the pinky edge, and start to kick the foot straight forward. Maybe that's where you go today. Maybe you can start to kick the foot towards the front of your mat, drawing the elbow towards the sky. And then 
and slowly come back to plank. And we'll work the other side, left hand to the middle of the mat. Roll on the left edge. Start with Vashisasana. Here we start with this, the foundational pose. Pull the left knee into the chest. You'll feel the strength of your inner thigh. And then see if you can grab the pinky edge of your foot. First start by kicking it out. Maybe this is where you play today. Maybe this is your edge. Maybe you can start to bring that left leg towards the front of your mat. And then eventually that foot will go all the way forward. You'll be able to look underneath the body. I'm not quite there yet. Take one more breath and then softly release plank. Let's lower to our bellies softly and slowly. Our back bend today is going to be Dhanurasana bow. So see how it feels by bending the knees. Reach around. Take your thumbs to one side of the ankle, the forefingers on the other. Shoulders roll down your back and then shine your heart up. And then kick your feet up and back. As you breathe, you might feel like a little teeter-totter as the breath massages, you'll feel the belly pressing into the earth. Even draw the navel in. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Lift the heart, take one more full breath, fullest expression today in your bow pose. And then release softly, press back child's pose. Allow the knees to be as wide as the mat. Send your hips all the way back to your heels and start to walk your torso forward. Let the head melt down. From here, let's tuck our toes, lift our hips, downward dog, and open up through the hips a little bit. So we'll come into single pigeon. Right knee is gonna come towards the right wrist. Left leg is gonna extend back. Draw the energy of the heart space up. Feel the hips hug inward. Feel the spine elongate. And then exhale, we'll start to fold forward. And I want you to really focus on your breath. We're gonna inhale for count of four. Hold the breath in for four. Exhale the breath out for four. And see if you can retain the breath out for four. Again, inhaling for four. Three, two, and one. Hold the breath now for one, two, three. Exhale for four, three, two. Relax and hold the breath out for three, two, and one. Walk your hands back to center. Tuck your back toes and stretch back to downward dog. Single pigeon on the left. The left knee now draws towards the left wrist, making sure that that right leg is straight behind you, coming from the hip. Adjust the front leg is less or more. Feeling your hip today. Lift your heart space. And then when you feel ready, elongate the spine as you fold to the earth. Keep your palms up to receive gratitude for your hips. Coming back to that same breath pattern, inhaling for four. Hold the breath in for four. 
Exhale for four. Keep the breath out for four. Inhaling for four, three, two, one. Hold the breath. One, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two. Retain the breath out. Four, three, two, and one. Slowly start to walk your hands back. Come out to your left hip and sweep that right leg forward. And we'll work a little bit of core. So Navasana. See if you can keep the arms off. If you need to put the hands back to the earth, that's fine. Lift your heart space up. Let's go for a little ride. So taking a half boat as you hover and then draw the knees into the chest. Come back and hover. Draw the knees into the chest. We'll do one more. Extend and lengthen. And now knees to the chest. Now maybe you can extend the legs, flare the toes, lift the heart. And then we'll slowly come onto our backs. Pull the knees into the chest. Loosen up your lower back. So rock a little bit from side to side. And we'll take happy baby. So either hands grab the hamstrings, the outside of the calves, or the outside of the feet. Allow the knees to pull down towards the armpits. Stamping your spine into your mat making your imprint, and then maybe soothing the nervous system by rocking from side to side. As you soothe the nervous system, you allow the mind to relax, you allow the heart rate to slow down. You can then access that rest and digest nervous system where healing happens. If it feels good to straighten through the legs here. Come back to happy baby. Pull both the knees together and lower the knees as one unit over towards the left. Extend your right arm out to the side with the palm facing out directly from your shoulder. Start by looking up to the sky. And then see if you can start to look towards your right hand. Rich, relaxing breaths as you breathe in, detoxifying, rinsing out mentally, emotionally, physically. Bring both the knees back to center, and then allow the knees to float to the right. And then sending the gaze over to the left. See if you can really send your left ribs over to the left side of your mat. Come back to center. I want you to extend through the toes. Circle the feet clockwise in one direction. And then counterclockwise in the other direction. And then send your right foot out to the corner of your mat. Send your left leg to the corner of your mat. Let your feet flop open. Let your palms release up to the sky for Shavasana, final relaxation. So as we stay in this quietness, I want you to send gratitude towards your feet, 
your feet take you on this journey of life. So sending gratitude to each toe, the feet, ankles, Achilles, tendons. Slowly with gratitude, start to bring your attention back to your breath. Filling up the body, every cell of the body, just let it breathe in fresh oxygenated blood. And then open mouth, sigh it out. Pull one knee into the chest at a time, and then allow the knees to hold both of them over to the right side of your mat. Close your eyes for a moment, take the bottom hand and make a little pillow. Send gratitude for your practice today. Send gratitude to your feet, your ankles. Never really thank them for the journey they take us through every single day. And then press your top hand in, and I'll give you Yogi's, Yogi's choice of how you want to finish in your seated pose. So maybe it's easy seat like I'm going to do, or half lotus, or full lotus, or varasana like we've done in some of our other videos. Sitting bones root down, crown of the head lifting up. Notice how you feel, Yogi's. Sweep the arms out to the side, this radiating energy around you. Feel it, gather it with your hands, gather what you need for today, seal it in those hands and send it into your heart space. Practice gratitude. Even today, see if you can just do three things just to acknowledge and be grateful for the people that you come encounter. So maybe you head to the store, thank the cashier. Maybe someone bags your groceries Thank the person who does that. Maybe you're not going to the store, then send either a thank you note, like an old fashioned thank you note, or even sending a text, just thanking someone in your life. I'm grateful for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to like this video, share it with your tribe, anyone that might need a little bit of opening into that area of the body today from my heart to yours namaste